Hey everyone, welcome back to another one sheet where we try to explain a very cool math concept in three minutes or less. Today's concept is called candidate confusion, which comes from the subject matter here. Let's say there's a local election going on in your town with two candidates, Mr. Green and Ms. Purple. Now let's say the local polling agency goes out and surveys some set of people and asks the simple question, do you support Mr. Green? And for a different set of random people, they ask the question, do you support Ms. Purple? Let's say that of the people who are surveyed and asked about Mr. Green, 50% support him. And of the people who are surveyed for Ms. Purple, 40% support her. Now, based on those numbers alone, it seems like Mr. Green is the obvious preferred candidate in town. But not so fast. Let's look at these N equals numbers that often show up on polls, but people don't really pay attention to them. It turns out only 10 people were surveyed in order to get this statistic for Mr. Green. But 100 people which is 10 times more, were surveyed to get the statistic about Miss Purple, and that should matter. And so a very quick way to get not just a single number, but some kind of range, which tells you what this number might more reasonably be, is to go back to our old friend, the standard deviation of the sample proportion, which, if you remember back from your classes, is simply this form here. It's the sample proportion times 1 minus the sample proportion, divided by the number of observations and the square root of all of that. We can prove that obviously, but if you plug this in for Mr. Green, then you get that the sample standard deviation is going to be 16%. But for Miss Purple, it's much smaller at just 5% because we had so many more samples, so we're more certain about this 40% than we are about this 50% here. And if we go ahead and plot these guys on a number line between 0 and 100%, and we do plus or minus one standard deviation for each candidate, we find that Mr. Green's range is this large one here, and Miss Purple's range is just this small one here. And what that means intuitively is that actually, even though 50% is higher than 40%, once we take this uncertainty to account, we actually don't know, we have no evidence really to say which candidate is preferred. Notice these ranges overlap by quite a bit. And hopefully you find this trick kind of interesting, especially because this formula is simple enough that you can just pull out your smartphone, plug these numbers in, in any kind of setting, not just candidates, but maybe reviews for an online product. Do you like this product? Do you not like this product? You can just plug in the proportion of people that like it at the top, and then the number of people who are surveyed on the bottom, and go ahead and just get these uncertainty bounds for yourself, which is a very powerful real world technique. So hopefully you like this video, like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.